What's up guys? It's Chris. Uh, so I wanted to do one one short video about this um, because I'm, I'm thoroughly impressed with this, this compressor and I mentioned, I did a video last night, I, I mentioned uh, I mentioned the um, the favor that Pyramid did for me. They really did right by me on this. So I bought a Hill compressor, the uh, you know the Hill uh, EC three thousand or whatever. I bought that. I want to say it was in December, so seven going on eight months ago, and it's under warranty for a year. So they they would have fixed it, and but it, it it just stopped building pressure, and it worked really good for that time until it stopped building pressure. And I ended up, I, I got one of these cheap little, uh, w you know, uh, water-cooled Chinese ones off Amazon. And then the, the mobile one, which I had the mobile one already. I got the little, the little water-cooled one when that one died just for in the meantime. It was like 200 bucks, um, which I don't even think I'm going to keep it. I, I, I figured I would for a backup, but now after getting this compressor and, and using it, I, I don't, feel like I need it and you know worst case worst case scenario the the other obnoxiously loud um, portable one was was filling things after you know a, a year or whatever but it's pretty bad but it, it, it does get it done um, anyways this is the Air Venturi the 220 volt and they gave it to me for just for exactly the difference in price between the hill and this compressor right now. If I were to go buy this right now or the hill right now, the difference in price it was like a hundred and hundred and six bucks difference. So Pyramid really did did right by me, and I, I asked them if I if I could do it because when I told them I was filling six point eight liter bottles, which even when I told them that when I bought it, I don't think they thought I was going to be filling them every day. You know, like. When, whenever I practice, I'm filling the guns from the tanks and then filling the tanks one after another, you know, as they get, especially using the Rattler, I go through air like water. Anyways, this is also water cooled. It just keeps the same water. You don't have to change it. Like that water will get too hot and then you have to change it. But this has a, such a serious fan, it, it, the water doesn't get, it gets, it gets hotter. It get, I've seen it get, I did all three bottles in a row and it was um, f 56 Celsius or something like that. Right now it's 25.1 or 20, you know, 25.0, 25.1 going back and forth. But anyways, running at uh, 220 wire, at number 10 wire, number eight wire, whatever, depending on the amperage of the breaker is, is really not that difficult. Uh, if you guys need somebody that knows how to do it, I can do, I can help you out. But it's worth getting the 220 because I'll tell you what, honestly, this is this plug is I had to cut the cord and use a different a different plug. And I had one of the one of the four wires in the wrong hole, meaning it was only getting 120 volts instead of 240. Or uh they're they're 118 or whatever. So what you know what I mean. Anyways, it was only getting one of the two hot wires. So it as soon as it would get pressure, it would slow down. But that's what all these 120s are doing. You know, the 120 is just not enough power for these high pressure compressors. So this this has a big filter in it. It has a huge, um, the replacement filter is right here. So it's got a pretty big filter right in it. And uh, then I put another filter on the line coming out. And you use ISO 100, high pressure pump oil. You don't put hydraulic oil or transmission fluid or any of the other stuff that I hear people doing. This, this takes specifically ISO 100 high pressure pump oil. You can get, there's, there's a few different brands. It doesn't have to be Air Venturi, but it's, you know, the, the rating is ISO 100. Um, so there's a reason for that because the, mo the motor is powerful and it's putting some wear on the crankcase if you, if you don't have the proper lubricant, which that's the proper lubricant. So it, it is kind of loud. They, they rate it right about where, where it is. I got the decibel meter here. They say it's like uh, 90, 100 decibels. That's about where it is. Um, I'll show you that in a minute. But I was so, I was so surprised how fast it filled the bottle. Even with this, with this long hose, I put an extra section on it. And with the, with the filter, which reduces airflow a little bit more, I, I had one of these, I think, I think one of them was at like, 
I don't know, it was under 2,000, uh, under 2,000 PSI. So the, I, it filled up so fast, I thought something was wrong. I, th it shut, I, I thought it wasn't running because something went wrong with it and, and it was already full. It, it just hit the auto stop. So if you set the auto stop any higher than 4,500 PSI, you're gonna blow the disc. They have a disc right, in, right under this and it's, it, I, it must be right at 4,500 because it blew right at 4,500. But 4,500 PSI is 310 bar, so you don't, not too many guns can even take more than that. Um, so this is the cool, you have a button, this lit up button is the one for the cooling system. So you're supposed to turn that on first, obviously. There goes the big fan. And actually, that's the louder part. That's louder than, I mean, the compressor with it makes the decibel level go up, but that, that part makes a big difference just by itself because the fan is, is pretty big. But that's why this thing can keep going. I figured because of the silicone lubricant on the other one, it would be all right for filling tanks, but I just have been shooting too much and you know practicing for competitions and and having fun when, uh, you know it's not like I, I can shoot all day but after work this is where i come anyways this is where my my shop is my office is and i mess around after i'm done with doing what i gotta do and then sometimes on the weekend if my fiance is not around i'll 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 start shooting then too but i i get a good i get a good amount of time that i can shoot so I, I use a good amount of air. Um, so I'm gonna start the compressor, and this is at, let's see what it's at. This is at 3100 PSI right now, and I'm gonna fill it to 45. We'll see how long it takes. So now it's at, yeah, 91, 92. It's pretty, it's pretty loud, but it's not as loud as that little thing. That thing is a third of the size and twice as loud. It was 105 decibels, I think. It was pretty obnoxious. I mean, this is not quiet by any means, but you don't have to run it nearly as long. That's, that's the beauty of it. I mean, it's not, uh, it's not the most pleasant sound to be hearing, but it's definitely better than that one. And it's definitely for a much shorter period of time because that thing, for those three tanks, you could run it all damn day. Seriously, you could run it all day. But I'm very happy with this. I'm very happy with Pyramid, and I, I very highly recommend them because they stood behind it like that, you know what I mean, to send me out. Don't get me wrong, they hadn't even, they know I'm practicing for the Pyramid Cup, and I'm trying not to lose any time with that. So I paid for this and they're gonna reimburse me the amount of my compressor when they get it back. They just, I'm, you know, they gotta check it and make sure I didn't do anything to it or whatever. It's literally in the box that they sent it to me in. I took the silicone reservoir had a little crack in it. That, it cracked, I just, I guess over time, because I never took the silicone reservoir off. The cap comes off the top on the metal part. That's how I filled it. And it just kind of dissipates over time. I, it, it ends up in the air, I guess. When you're uh, when you're releasing it out of the uh, out of the purge valve, but that was a great compressor while it lasted. And if any of you guys have the, that compressor or or are looking at it, it is a good compressor. I I was really happy with it. It's quieter than this, but this is so much more powerful. You can just hear it by by the way it runs. This already had got 3,200 pounds of pressure already in the line when I turned it on. And it didn't hesitate even a little bit. So, that I mean, I think even the hill would have been a little more hesitant to get running like that when, if it had 3,200 PSI on it. I don't, I don't remember, I didn't do like, you know, a comparison, but the, the punchline is, this is the most powerful compressor I've, I've seen yet. Other than, other than the one that the guys had at the competition for everybody, the gas power. But for electric compressors, this is definitely by far the, the most powerful one I've seen. And I got a feeling the other Air Venturi that's another $400 more and is a 120 is gonna be less powerful. I mean, they say it's got faster fill times, but I don't think that's gonna last. I think, I think over time, 
that one's gonna shit faster than this one because this one's getting sufficient power for what you're doing. You know, you're not you're not getting too little power for the amount of air you need. Dude, we're almost at 4,000 already. That was like five minutes. Let me see exactly. Uh, it's been recording for 10 minutes and 28 seconds. It was a few minutes telling you guys about the compressor before I turned it on. But this this compressor is really impressive. I'm, I'm very happy with it. I'm very happy that they were they were willing to let me exchange it. Erica helped me out. Uh, she's a customer service, and they, they have you talk to Air Venturi, which I guess is all one company. And, and the woman from Air Venturi was very nice and very helpful too. She tried to help me troubleshoot it. I told her I had already taken the whole, the whole piston housing apart, got the seal kit, replaced all those seals. I don't know, it must have been something electrical, because there's like a screen with a, a wheel that you push the butt, you push the wheel or you turn it, and, it, and that's how you make all your selections on the, uh, the the little computer that's in it. But I think that had to be what was wrong with it. It had to be something electrical because I changed every gasket in it. That's my dog, Duke, trying to find some trouble. Duke, come here. Come here, Duke. Come. Come, Duke. Come. Come here. Come up. Come up. Come up. You good boy. You good boy. You good boy. Say hi, Duke. Say hi. You good boy? You good boy? So up over 4,000, so I would guess another five minutes. So it's only up to 37.9. So uh, the water cooled is a, is a big difference, especially in a more efficient compressor like this, because that little Chinese one, you get a lot of moisture. And, and even with the filter, you, you end up having to change the middle part of that filter. I, I've only had that since the hill died. Less, I've had it less than a week. And they sent that to me very quickly. I got it in two days. So that I've only had since the... the, the what did I get it on? Tuesday or something? Tuesday and today's Sunday. So less than a week. And this is the little one is taken apart because I had to grease it. I probably don't have to yell. You guys have the microphone on, it's right on me. I took the casing off because I put some of my good grease for my my uh, my heavy equipment on the uh, on on the gears in here, and it, it does make it run a little better. But I mean, this is just only what it is. It's, it's a tiny little motor in here. And you know, honestly, when you, when you look at, if you, if you know anything about these, like, these type of compressors, this, this Chinese blue compressor, not this one that I'm looking at right now, I'm working on right now, but this other one, it actually, it actually seems like it would work well, you know? And it, and it works somewhat well. I mean, it's, it's decent. But it's it's very slow, and it's I don't I don't know why it doesn't work better because I was filling this thing with cold water and putting a bucket of ice cubes in it. I was just having the refrigerator pour out ice cubes and make more and pour them out and make more, and I was putting in ice cold water, and it was keeping it keeping it down to temperature. And I put good oil in it. I, I put um, I think I used Amsoil gear oil in that like uh, differential fluid which is which is rated even higher than the than the hydraulic it's uh it was 140 well uh 90 140 or se no i'm sorry 75 140 75 90 and 75 140 because that's what my gmc takes um so i mean it 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 filled it filled them it just took a long time and it was loud as hell Here, i'll turn it on so you guys can hear it over that just to give you a little comparison.
See, you hear it right over that, and it's just like a high pitch, obnoxious noise. It's just so, that going for hours and hours at a time trying to fill these guns is, a, is obnoxious. I could shut it, I shut the door, I hear it outside. It's, I mean, unless I'm back in my workshop, I'm gonna hear it. See, this is 90, just over 90 decibels on that one. Let's see what this one is. Almost 110 decibels. That's what you gotta listen to, to use that thing. I mean, two, it's 200 bucks, so it, that, th there's something to be said for that. It was $200, that's, that's a pretty damn good price. But 1200 bucks for this one, one and done, you buy it one time and, and this is gonna fill your tanks as long as you need it to. I, I mean, I don't see anything, as long as you ma maintain it. Like, I'm, I'm very aggressive with maintenance on all my stuff. On my vehicles, I do them before. So that was from, you know, that's like 2,000, that's the hardest 2,000 PSI, you know, at the top, going from 3 to 5. That's the hardest, and you get that in like 90 to 15 minutes, 10 minutes. And then what I've been doing is, when I shut it off like that, I, I let it... I let the cooler run a little longer, and then I, I, when I purge it, I just leave the bleed valve open until the next time I use it. And then I'll just pull this plug out because I'm not, I'm not doing anything with it, so there's no point in moving the plug in. But it's, uh, it's a badass compressor. I definitely wanted to let you guys know that because if anybody's thinking about spending, you know, over a thousand bucks on it on a compressor. It's a, it is a lot of money, but if you're if you're into the into the sport and you're passionate about it, then you know it's. I mean, you guys see what what kind of money I I spend on it, and 
Everybody thinks I'm nuts, but I am I, a little bit, I guess. We all are. But uh, I do I do enjoy it. So I, I, you know, I work hard for my money, and this is the way I want to spend it. So it's, that's uh, something that I get to do that I that I actually like doing. And I like messing around with them, making them crazy powerful too. So hopefully, if anybody's looking for a compressor, you got some good some good advice from experience because I've tried. This is my fifth or sixth compressor now in the past year. Uh, no, maybe two years, year and a half, two years. Do believe that a year and a half, two years. I, I've had two two others of those little portable ones that that one of them came with the separate thing that that goes from Duke, you leave it, that goes from uh, 120 volt to 12 volt or, or reverse, it takes 12 volts and converts the, the 120 into two, the 12 volts, that's why you can use it with your car. Um, but if I had two others of those that blew up, this one hasn't blown up because I never use it on anything but a gun. I did use it on tanks recently, but I think the grease, I used Valvoline Cobalt. It's, uh, it's, I swear by that grease. It's the best stuff I've ever put on my machines and everything. It's, it's really good stuff. Um, but the other one, the other one has two, the other one has two pistons and I don't, I don't know. I just, it seems to me the, the build of that one would actually be a good idea it, with the two separate pistons and there's two purge valves. It seems like it would run good, but it just doesn't. It's so obnoxiously loud and it takes forever. Honestly, I, I think that the portable one was going a little quicker. It was just, anyways, I hope you guys, uh, I, I hope somebody can make use of the information and get themselves a good compressor, but par get it at Pyramid Air, honestly, because I don't think there's another company out there that would have done that, really. I mean, there's there's a lot of good people in this business. There's There really is. You you. you you don't come across too many shops that are not willing to to have your back and stand behind their products in in the air gun industry, which is a nice, it's a welcome change. I mean, it's not it doesn't go for everybody, but most pe most of the people I've met more good than bad. That's for sure, and that's not how it usually is, unfortunately. But I, I have with this, and even through these videos on YouTube, I, I met a lot of good people. Um, so, anyways, guys, I hope that that helps one of you guys or some of you guys that are watching these videos and need a compressor and uh, that's it so pyramid air air venturi two, 220 volt I recommend highly I that's sh should have been my choice in the first place I don't know what I was thinking with a 110 if there was a 220 but I don't I didn't even realize it was a 220 at the time I don't I don't remember having a 220 option anyways have a good day guys enjoy your weekend